please adjust your presentation according to the learning style of your customers. Technically speaking, the patient is a customer. Other doctors are customers, meaning they're counting on you to deliver the message. There are certain customers who are auditory learners. They do well with lectures, conversations, and podcasts. If you think that your audience falls under this category, iwasan ang masyadong madaming visuals. I'm gonna flip the coin. There are visual learners. Hindi nila kaya na one hour town hall meeting or one hour workshop na walang photos, videos, and infographics. Kailangan pong lagyan. And if it's not your style, but it is the style of your audience, you have to be the one to adjust. What is the third type of learning according to psychology? Letter K. So auditory, visual, kinesthetic learning. So kinesthetic learning is, I cannot just look at a manual. I cannot just listen. I need to touch. I need to do case simulations, which very familiar in the medical world, right? After you read the textbook and you do the concept, you do a hands-on exercise. Mistakes need to be done, but I need to repeat that over and over again. So it's learning by doing. So if you notice, what we've done today in the past two hours, we've done all, including kinesthetic. Because right after we've learned a concept, I ask you to quickly do a jam session just for you to appreciate what the learning was all about. Goal is, if you happen to be a speaker, you have to cover all three. And kung pwede, kung hindi mo kayang iprobe or investigate kung sino audience profile mo, it's safer to cover all three.